red accents is Team England. And then in the black with red accents will be Team Germany. I'm expecting a lot of noise from the crowd for this game. It will be very intense. And then Team England, uh, as if you've been following the adventures of the London Roller Girls, who have several representatives on this team, you know that they were at the Women's Flat Track Derby Association Championships this year and did quite well. And so there we can expect to see a very strong performance from them. On the other hand, Team Germany has a number of members from Bear City in Berlin who also was present at those championships in yeah. addition too. And so this is not going to be an easy fight for either. First jammer for Team England is number nine, is uh, Kamikaze Kitten. And number two, Master Blaster, taking the star for Germany. Both jammers getting fairly low there on that line. Team England spreading out and dominating that jammer line. Whereas Team Germany is taking one of the geometric blocking positions that we've seen so much of this year, where two blockers are raced by a third. Going to try to contain Cammy right off the line. And that is jam start. Slow start to this one. Both teams rotating around, trying to hold back those blockers. And that's Master Blaster, number two for Germany, picking up that first lead jammer status. Kamikaze Hitten still trying to make her way through that pack, and she does emerge. Starts really putting on that speed as she takes those corners. Master Blaster calling off the jam already, content to take two points to put Germany on the board first. Master Blaster was the final jammer in uh, Bear City's game at championships point and was able to come from behind, grab two points, call it off, and win that game by one point. Wow. So our on-screen scoreboard does not appear to be updating. However, I will tell you that team one is England with zero points and team two is Germany with two points so far. 19 minutes on the period clock. Lexi Lightspeed and Lotta jamming now. Number 11, Lotta Loveless. Again, some seriously tight wall work from both teams, making things very difficult for these jammers. But Lexi Lightspeed does manage to get through and pick up that lead jammer status, while Lotta Loveless is being recycled back, almost back past that jammer line, taken off the outside and recycled once again. In the first jam, the uh, England jammer was able to get out and apply pressure, reducing the number of points that Germany could score. This is a full five-point pass for England, putting them now on top of the game. Lexi Lightspeed with some tidy side surfing style skating, making her way around the outside to pick up another natural grand slam. Germany has sent one blocker to the notorious R80 penalty box. That will reduce their ability to contain Lexi Lightspeed, who does a nice little spin move to get through, completing another grand slam. That's three on the jam so far. Laura Loveless still yet to make her initial pass, getting stuck in that England wall. Five up again for Lexi Lightspeed. 40 seconds remaining on the jam clock. Lotta Loveless still contained within the pack, replying. Now she We have had a star pass. Loveless passing to their pivot, uh, Wagner, number 12. Now she is your jammer, making her way to the back of that pack. And Lexi Lightspeed calls off that jam, but not before Wagner picks up two points. One more for England on that final pass. Total of 26 on the jam, which is England's two point total right now. Germany with those two points advancing to four points. There are 17 minutes in change on the first period clock to 20 minute periods. Rogue Runner and Public Enemy jamming for Team England and Team Germany respectively. Rogue Runner taking that slightly further back stance. Taking a little speed before contacting the pack, but now she goes to the outside, finds a clear path, lead jammer going to England, second in a row. Public enemy being taken off and recycled back by Shaolin Huen. That gives Roadrunner time to pick up five. The Germany 
pack of blockers dropping to the rear, trying to hang on to Rogue Runner. She just barrels right through it and grabs five points. We have had a star pass on the German side. Number 001, John Dark taking the star. Rogue Runner had clocked that there was that star pass in action, manages to call off the jam and shut down Team Germany. Picks up two points herself for Team England. 12 on the jam for England, taking them to 38. Still four on the board for Germany with 16 minutes to go. Thank you to our sponsor, Roll Line Skates at roll-line.it. Uh, an official timeout stops the clock at 15 minutes and 48 seconds. Poised for our next jam for Team Germany, we have number nine, Sweet Gwendra Line, taking on number 42, Trisha Smakanawa for Team England. I'll tell you what, as far as uh, punny names go, Trisha Smakanawa is one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm a big Family Guy fan. Here's another sponsor we'd like to thank. That's Fast Girl Skates at fastgirlskates.com. They help take care of folks around here. We do not know the purpose of the official timeout yet. If we find that out, we will, of course, bring that to you. Yeah, from our, our vantage point here, uh, just above the Blood and Thunder track, we can see a fair portion of our merch village, and I, I can say we are so lucky for the amount of uh, sponsors and stall holders that we've got here this weekend. After this game, stay tuned, and at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, you'll be seeing Team Spain taking on Team Ireland. I think that could be a very interesting game. I, to me, those two teams are, are fairly unknown quantities, so I, I, I will have no prediction for that game. I, uh, I'm, I'm lucky to not, enough to know um, a couple of the players from Team Ireland, and I know that they've been training very, very hard for this. Back to action on the track. Both jammers stuck within those tight walls. It is going almost nowhere. That pack is creeping through turn one, heading for turn two. We have ourselves almost a, a split pack, two solid walls. At Germany losing a blocker to a multiplayer block. And that is Wagner, number 12, going to the box. Trisha Smackenauer taking advantage of that one less blocker on track to pick up lead jammer status. Out of four jams so far, three of the lead calls have gone to England. They are capitalizing now. A jammer in the pack, scoring out of the pack, grabbing all five. Smackenauer easing her way around the outside to pick up a grand slam pass. Sweet Gwemreline still yet to make her initial pass. Kristen Lee and Maney stuck on her. But I mentioned that braced blocking at the top of the game. That now is taking place on England's side. 5-4. Smekanawa as she gets through the pack on the outside. Sweet Gwemreline thinking she'd made her way out of the back there, but uh, Stephanie Maney and Kid Block coming up front to take her off on the inside and reset her back past that jammer line. Gwenderline finds herself at the back of the pack. Passes the start of Wagner. But big. Wagner does not escape either. No, a big hit on the inside line from Stephanie Maney, taking out multiple skaters. Wagner getting stuck straight in there. She is up at the top of the pack, trying to get past the England blockers. And the uh, Germany blockers right now having a better time hanging on to Smekanawa. Time expires on the jam. Four more for England, taking them to 52 points. Lethal Lorelei just at the end of that jam there, managing to take Smekanawa off on the outside and recycle her back. So we are down now to 13 minutes and a half in the first period. Once again, two 20-minute periods. Number nine for England, Kamikaze Kitten, taking the star against number two, Master Blaster, a repeat of our first jam of the game. 
Looks like there's plenty of space on that track for those jammers to get through, and it looks like Master Blaster takes advantage of that. She sees those gaps. She is lead jammer. That, Cam again, is history repeating itself. She earned lead the first time out. This Cam time, though, Cammy is a lot slower getting through the pack, giving the Master Blaster the, the time to pick up more points. Kamikaze Kitten coming out of the pack same time as Master Blaster, but Kit Cammy on her initial pass. So Master Blaster picking up a natural Grand Slam of five points, unchallenged by Team England. She spun out past Twin at the top of the back and called it off. We see. I thought I heard timeout whistles, but I think those are from another track because we're gearing up for our next jam. 12 minutes and change on the clock. Lexi Lightspeed, number 55, getting just about as low as you can physically get on that jammer line. She's facing off against number 11, a lot of loveless for Team Germany. Lexi knocked off on the outside by Lethal Aura and recycled. Lotta Lovelace still trying to get past that two wall of Kid Block and Terry Sudrin. Finding her way through on the inside, Lexi Lightspeed, lead jammer for England. Lotta Lovelace was not able to get out of the pack last time she jammed. And again, struggling at the front of the pack. Lexi Lightspeed like managing to make her way around and pick up a natural Grand Slam pass, but not before a nice big hit from number 12, Wagner, for Team Germany. Lightspeed now, scoring again, has one to beat, gets out, five up. It's 10 so far on the jam for England. Kid Block recycling back to round to turn four, Lotta Loveless. Really quick reformation there from the Team England blockers. A lot of Loveless definitely having a lot of trouble with the Team England pack. She just has not had much success getting past them. Loveless not a smaller player by any means, but coming up face to face um, with that sort of fat controlling position of Kid Block. You can't. You just can't see around her. She's she's too tall. Germany able to slow down Alexi Lightspeed on that pass, but she does get out for five more. Ten and a half on the first period clock. We seem to have gotten our uh, overlay back, so you can see that Team England standing now at 72 points, nine for Team Germany, and we'll add five points to that total for England. Lot of Loveless very nearly managed to take advantage of a little bit of confusion in the pack to try and slip around the outside. Unsuccessful, and she does pick up a cut track penalty right at the end of that jam. So that takes us to the 10 minute mark, halfway through our first period of play. With 77 on the board for Team England, still nine for Team Germany. And a power start for number 22, Rogue really Runner. Full bank of blockers on track for both teams. So those England blockers trying to go with the sweep from multiple directions, causing confusion on track. Big hit takes light speed down, but she does manage to break through. And she is not lead jammer, though, picking up a no pass, no penalty. So that opportunity still exists for a lot of Loveless when she returns from the penalty box, but she's going to have to have better luck with the Team England pack than she has so far to earn that lead jammer position. Still worth consideration for Loveless as well. Um, she may just want to pass that star. Jaeger there, that her pivot. Trying to make the correct tactical decision. Germany has been taking advantage of the star pass. They've done it three times so far in the game. Five more for Rogue Runner. And Loveless has taken off her jammer panty. But that doesn't work, that doesn't mean anything until she is able to hand it to her pivot, which she does not. She is going to the penalty box. Yep, she did pick up a cutting penalty. So that will be a continued power jam in favor of Team England and Rogue Runner. Okay. 
Five more for England as Roadrunner clears the pack on the inside. Two Team Germany blockers are joined on track by a teammate coming out of the penalty box. But Team England uh, managing to do quite a successful goat holding her at the back there. Rogue runner through for another one of those five point passes. A few seconds remain in the jam, probably not enough for further scoring by Rogue Runner. And that, in fact, is time on the jam. But Team England has broken into triple digits with 112 on the board to Germany's nine with seven and a half to go in our first period. And England so far unable to withstand the offensive onslaught that the England jammers have brought to this game. Thanks to the amazing Bruised Boutique, who are sponsors of the 2014 Blood and Thunder Roller Derby World Cup. Back on the flat track, number one, a public enemy for Team Germany, jamming now 42, Trisha Smackenauer for Team England. Second time with the Jammer Star for each of these jammers. And Smackenauer does make her way through what was actually quite a tight Germany pack. Uh, some big hits being thrown to her, she tried to make it through, but she does pick up lead. Public enemy is through while Smackenauer is knocked off on the inside and taken back. Smackenauer sees public enemy call it coming, calls it off. Garners a single point on the jam. So we'll be around six minutes when this next jam starts. That's number 888. No, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, one of the blockers, not the jammer. We have number nine versus number nine on the jammer line. Kamikaze Kitten against Sweet Winra Line. Kamikaze Kit managing to get through that open barn door of her own blockers, which they zipped up very quickly to stop Sweet Grendel Line getting through. Team England blocker is able to contain Sweet Grendel Line at the bottom of the pack. But now she's able to find her way out. Both jammers clear to score. Lead held by Kami. Kami getting through, crawling off the jam. And she does manage to call that before Sweet Grendeline made her way to, to get to a scoring point. That keeps Germany in single digits with nine points. 117 on the board for Team England with just about five and a half minutes to go. In our first period, we will then take a little break, come back afterwards. Thanks to Rover Bones. They have the new signature series wheels. And the signature here by Rogue Runner. Check them out at rollerbones.com. Number two, Master Blaster has the star for Germany. Taking on Lexi Lightspeed. Lexi Lightspeed indeed, number 55. Master Blaster's trying to drag Lexi back around the track, having bumped her into the outfield. And since jammers are allowed to engage jammers anywhere on the track, it would be a track cut if Lexi came back in. So far, Lexi is following Master Blaster, but not going any farther than she absolutely has to. Master Blaster trying to take her all the way around, no doubt looking for an eat the baby play. What Master Blaster would like to do is drag Lexi all the way back around and have her reabsorbed into the pack from the front. Uh, it doesn't look like Lexi is falling for that. No. But as a result, the pack has been at a standstill Neither jammer has completed their initial pass, so we have no lead jammer. We're halfway through the jam. We've only seen this a handful of times, and I think of those, only a teeny tiny portion of those have been successful. So, Lexi able to re-enter legally, and then get out past Master Blaster, get back into the pack. Now both jammers are still on their initial passes. Lexi out for lead. Kid Block holding Master Blaster tight up front. And Master Blaster does end up picking up a cut track penalty. So by, by my count, this is only the second power jam that Germany has given up to England, but even without power jams, England has been very effective at getting their jammers through that pack. 
that jam reaching its natural conclusion. Of course, spending half of it with the, uh, the jammers chasing each other around the track Indeed. the wrong way. So that takes us to a score of 126 for England. Nine stool on the board for Germany with just about three minutes to go in the first half. Number 22, Rogue Runner, up on the jam line to get started on this power jam start for Team England. Number two, Master Blaster, remaining in the notorious RED penalty box for Team Germany. Big hit from 001, Jane Dark taking um, Rogue Runner off her feet. Nevertheless, she does complete her initial pass, takes lead. It's team England blockers going in there, offensively to try and break up that wall. Master Blaster comes into the pack hot from the penalty box, powers through, does so legally, and is clear to score. Rogue Runner gets it called before Master Blaster can score. And we have a few further points, three further points on the second scoring pass, total of eight on the jam for England. They're Team at 134. Ge Team Germany going to start with a pack advantage. Um, two to one. Team England changing up those two blockers on track just at the last moment for Stephanie Maney and Kid Block. Number 42, Trisha Smekanawa jamming against number one, Public Enemy. But interesting, an, an unusually, we have a multiplayer block call against uh, the German jammer. Public enemy. So Smackenauer now on a power jam, yet to make her initial pass. She does so just now, not lead. Not lead. <coughs> Those England blockers quickly returning to track from that notorious RED penalty box. Smackenauer throwing some big hits, taking some of her own. So since this is going to be a full-length jam, it will be definitely the final jam of the first period. Some great two-wall work up front from Titty Twister and number 16, Tease the Tiger. He's the Tiger from Stuttgart Valley, Roller Girls. This is the second World Cup for Titty Twister from Bear City. Really made to work for it, but Smackenauer does manage to come round on that outside line to pick up another five-point pass. It's actually the first points from this jam so far. It has been a very defensive jam. Smackenauer able to stick the landing after going up into the air th through the pack. Meanwhile, number one public enemy jamming for Team England, uh, Team Germany. My apologies, um, has picked up another penalty. I didn't see what it was. I missed the call, uh, but that means a continued power jam for Smackenauer. And at this rate, that will likely continue into the second period of the game. Definitely not a position that Team Germany wants to start in for that second half. So no further points scored as time expires on the jam and on the first period. And we're going to conclude the first half of the game with 144 for Team England and 9 for Team Germany. Snuggins, what does Germany have to do to get some more points on that board? They've, they've got to try and break up those walls. They've got to keep their players clean. They, they want that full bank of blockers on track to clear those walls for their jammers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to coverage of the 2014 Roller Derby World Cup from Dallas, Texas. We're beginning the second period of Team England versus Team Germany. Team Deutschland gegen Team England. You will recall that last jam of the second, the previous half ended on a power jam for Team England. Um, Kamikaze Kitten going in to start this power jam now, but we do have Team Germany's jammer back on track already. That jammer being number one public enemy. Okay, so Kamikaze Kitten coming through for a grand slam pass. Public Enemy still trying to break through on her initial pass. Being blocked quite effectively up front by Stephanie Maney, 
Shaolin Huen and cannot see you. That is number 11. Perhaps Faye Roberts. Good spot. Public Enemy going to try and do a star pass now to her pivot. Quite a throng of skaters there on the track in turn four. Kamikaze again just managing to step round those blockers to get past that line. Public Enemy still trying to go for that star pass. Coop taking her off on the inside and cycling, cycling her back. Public Enemy so very nearly out of that pack, just clipped and taken off on the outside again. Public Enemy coming up to that pack once again, still trying to get through. Still got that panty in her hand. Kami coming up for another pass. Jam reaching its natural conclusion. So expiring on time, 164 now on the board. No, correction, 166 on the board for Team England. Germany still in, trip in single digits. They are going to give the start a master blaster to try and remedy that situation. Number 22, Rogue Runner with the star for Team England. Thank you to Sure Grip Skate Company, sponsors of the World Cup. Jam underway, and we do not yet have either jammer able to get through. It is a very strong defensive blocking here. Pack barely moving now across the pivot line. More moving just side to side than actually progressing forwards along the track. Master Blaster is the more forward jammer, pushing against a throng of England blockers without success. But now through Master Blaster, who has been the most effective German blocker or German jammer at getting through the pack, lead jammer. Two penalties being picked up by Evans and Kristen Lee for Team England, making things just that little bit easier for Master Blaster, who is now also on a power jam with Rogue Runner heading to the penalty box for a cut track. This is the first power jam that, that Germany has had in the entire game. Is. Master Blaster making short work of that two wall of Kid Block and Helvetica Black. Things not quite as easy on this pass through. But a cheeky little apex jump just, just on the edge there sees that through for another Grand Slam pass. Evan Kristen Lee making their way back on track. Looking to rejoin Kid Block and Helvetica. Our jam has ended with Rogue Runner back on the track. Tries to go for an apex jump to get through those blockers, but she has clipped and taken off on the inside. Rogue Runner thinking that she was through and clear, but that uh, that German wall had managed to recycle itself to the front of the pack to give her another hit. Four final points on the pass for Germany, and Germany has now more than tripled their score, coming up to 28 points to the 166 for Team England. Is this a harbinger of things to come in this half? Let us see. Number nine, Sweet Gwen Roline with the star for Germany against Lexi Lightspeed. For those of you at home that can't see her, she is so low behind that wall. Sometimes you have to know, just, I can't read the numbers, therefore it is this jammer. Absolutely. Lightspeed taking a big hit, very nearly out of that pack. She does manage to emerge and shrug off those hits to pick up lead jammer. Sweet Gremra line there, being recycled back round to turn one. Meanwhile, Lexi Lightspeed taking some, some more hits that take her off her feet. Very quick recovery though. Jaeger pushing 
Lightspeed to the outfield. Sweet Grummerline making her way out of that pack with a skip and a jump. Lightspeed calling off the jam though. Das sind fünf Punkten, five points on the jam for England. They are now at 170, 71 gegen 28 für Deutschland. Wir haben Master Blaster Nummer 2 gegen Nummer 42. Nummer 42 ist Makanawa. Ist Makanawa hat ein Penalty oder Vorarm Penalty. Und wir haben den Power Jam für Master Blaster. Sie versucht am vor des Pack. Entschuldigen Sie bitte für mein Deutsch. Es ist nicht weit von perfekt, aber ich werde es probieren. Nummer zwei. Nicht durch die Blockers. Oh, and Master Blaster recycled a little bit, but not all the way. Lee Jama, wir haben Nummer zwei, Master Blaster. Hier ist in Indie Park. Smakanawa kommt zurück. Deutschland Park versucht Smakanawa zu holen. Alright, and the jam ends. Drei Punkte für Deutschland. Sie haben 31, 31 points. No points for England on that jam. Still 171. Not seen uh, many jam, not seen many jams so far in this game um, with no points scored for Team England. That is true. This was, in fact, uh, as I glanced down my score sheet, this is only the second time that England has been held scoreless in the game. Sweet Grenreline with the star against number nine, Kamikaze Kitten. It's number nine versus number nine. And of course, uh, Kamikaze Kitten, this is probably going to be her last Royal Derby outing this weekend. Um, she is retiring from the sport after, I believe, seven years. A good uh, long time. They, she has been a standout jammer for the London Roller Girls. I know that at her last home game with them... Um, the middle of November was an, an emotional affair and there she goes with that stuff that we know and love so well beautiful little apex jump seeing around the uh, those blockers on that inside only five jams in this period so far they've been fairly they've been more evenly split in terms of lead calls than the first period with three going to England two to Germany uh, Cam Carson getting now on a power jam uh, Sweet Grimmerline picking up a forearms penalty, heading to the penalty box. And of course that is that notorious RED sponsored penalty box. Big thanks of course to Notorious RED for helping us to keep our kit smelling nice and fresh. Smell clean, even if you play dirty. Not that anybody here would. Of course. Kamikaze Kitten being recycled and taken back on the outside having to try again and again and again to get past those blockers. Can't help but feel it's uh, quite a comical little pun that one of the blockers she's trying to get past repeatedly is heavy rotation. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. I think not. <laughs> so 14 on the jam total for England, taking them to a total of 185. Still 31 for Germany for the last two jams after the three points earned by Master Blaster. We are now halfway through the second period. Thanks to Roller Derby Trophies sponsoring the 2014 Blood and Thunder Roller Derby World Cup. Rory Grunner is once again your only jammer on track. Sweet Gremoline making our way back on track, um, incurring quite a big luck track penalty. Uh, 
My mistake, illegal, uh, illegal re-entry then. Um, illegal procedure, she's picked up. Heads back to that notorious RED penalty box while Rogue Runner picks up lead jammer status and is trying to make our way through that pack once again to pick up that five point pass. Which she does. Comes around again, we have got three of those German blockers on track. Rogue Runner leaping, leaping around that track, taking advantage of that, that the space available. Big hit from Wagner takes um, Rogue Runner off her feet. And Rogue Runner only picking up the four points there on the uh, on that pass. Green, no pass, no penalty. Rogue Runner calling off the jam before Ro uh, Sweet Grenverline able to get into the pack. Four points. We are now down to about eight minutes to go in the game. 14 points, putting England just shy of 200 points. 31 on the board for Team Germany, who give the star back to Master Blaster. And of course, if you can't see that jammer again, you know that that's Lexi Lightspeed. <laughs> Managing to edge her way around those blockers. And Lightspeed does manage to pick up lead. Master Blaster trying to push those England blockers out of play. Team getting split up there over near turn two. It's Kristen Lee and Kid Block trying to hold their back. Quite successfully thus far. And just when Master Blaster thinks she had broken free of that Kid Block Kristen Lee wall, Helvetica Black uh, managing to take her off on the outside. And a track cutting penalty for Master Blaster. She has to sit down for 30 seconds. Lexi Lightspeed, things being made very difficult for her in this jam, taking some big hits from those German blockers. And Lightspeed herself picking up a cut track penalty. Jammer switch through, so Master Blaster comes out of the box. Lightspeed, of course, will serve the same amount of time that Blaster has already served. It does mean that this will, this jam will run for the remaining 40 seconds on the clock. Stephanie Maney managing to take off Master Blaster, nearly pulling a cut there. Blaster with the quick footwork managing to get herself back on legally and, in, and uh, within bounds. That'll do, yeah, bounds. <laughs> Lightspeed back on track, didn't see her re-enter, slipped out of that pack like a ninja. Huge pile up over there in turn one. That jam reaching its natural conclusion. Lexi Lightspeed managed to pick up a couple more Grand Slam passes. And they see England breaking the double century, 209 to Germany's 31. Uh, five minutes and around up 35 seconds left of this game. Next jammer for Team Germany, number one, Public Enemy, taking on number 42, Trisha Smakanawa. Thank you to our sponsor, Rydell Skates, unmatched quality, unmatched performance. Again, we have ourselves that split pack, two separate walls blocking their opposing jammers. But it is Smackenauer that managed to make her way out. Smackenauer coming out very strong so far today. She's taken some very big hits, but she's recovering quickly. And Smackenauer is often recycled as is Public Enemy. Public, uh, Public Enemy right. still on her initial pass. Public Enemy, I believe, has passed the star to their pivot. Unfortunately, she passed the star to a pivot who was nose to nose with Stephanie Maney. Mm -hmm. 
Trisha Smackenauer slipping around unseen on the outside line. Team England blockers just completely containing the, the now jammer for Team Germany. That they are pretty much just sitting on it. Making themselves comfy, getting in a brew. That jammer is number 12, Wagner. Team England, of course, coming tantalizingly close uh, to, to glory um, at the previous Blood and Thunder Roller Derby World Cup back in 2011, taking third place. Um, I think they've come into this this year um, saying, yeah, we, we want to bump it up a notch. But as we were discussing it at halftime, Snuggins, we, we were expecting to see a few more points out of Germany in this game. They have been really struggling to get their jammers through packs, and that leads to the score we're seeing now, 239, just, uh, just in that last jam, 30 points picked up by England. Yeah, I was, was definitely expecting to see a, a, a closer game. Um, it, I mean, first handful of jams we had, it was kind of tip for tat, and then obviously England just stretching out, um, grabbing that lead and running with it. Master Blaster with a star for Germany, Kamikaze Kitten for England. And Kami does pick up lead jammer. Taking those corners smoothly as she makes her way back to the pack. Master Blaster still trying to push her way through. But, but, she, but she is, she is literally pushing, pushing, driving against those blockers. Kid block picking up a penalty, heading to the box. One less blocker for Master Blaster to try and get past, and she does. German blocker Stephanie Knippertz was holding her shoulder as she stood back up after a hit there. I thought it was Knippertz. No, it was uh, 505. Oh, heavy rotation was the one who was having some trouble there, but back on her skates. 248 for England, 31 for Germany. Yep, as we move into the last few minutes of this game. Sweet Grammar line number nine up against number 22, Rogue Runner. Team timeout called by Germany, stopping the clock at a minute and 41 seconds. Thank you to Pivot Star, our turn to alternative athletic apparel. They are international. Pivotstar.com. And also the sponsors, the, the overall organizers of the 2014 Blood and Thunder Roller Derby World Cup. They are returning to doing roller derby training camps in 2015. Check out more at bloodandthundermag.com. Excellent opportunity to, uh, to hone some skills and learn some new ones heading over to those boot camps. The next game scheduled here on track two is at 1 p.m. Central Time. In about 25 minutes, that will be Spain versus Ireland. If you prefer to see Brazil versus Portugal, tune into track one. If you'd like to see Scotland versus Mexico, tune into track three. We have got more derby than you know what to do with here this weekend. Huge event, 30 teams coming from around the world, every inhabited continent. It's absolutely fantastic. Team time out is done, and we're back on with the action. Master Blaster try, thinking she'd spied a gap there on the inside. Was unsuccessful in picking that up, and that is Rogue Runner. She has slipped around to pick up Lead Jammer. But Master Blaster does manage to evade number 888, Shaolin Huin. Master Blaster managing to stop herself uh, just at the whistle there before making contact, but does have a quick little cuddle with number 51, uh, Coop. So England held to a single point on that jam. It's 249 to 31 with a minute to go. Number two, Master Blaster, up against what I'm assuming is 55, Lexi Lightspeed. Yep. Germany really relying here on Master Blaster in the last few 
jams of the game, trying to get whatever they can get. But I mean, as, as you've said before, uh, Brad, Master Blaster has had probably the most success um, jamming in this game uh, for Germany against England. So lead jammer for Lexi Lightspeed. Five points on the pass. Only 17, 16 seconds on the period clock. Anytime after that, if Lexi calls it off, the game will be over. Master Blaster doing what she can to try and get past that solid three wall. That three wall losing one of its prongs. Terry Sudren being sent to the box for a multiplayer block. As Lexi Lightspeed transitions her way around the outside to pick up another Grand Slam pass. Period clock has expired. Jam clock controls. 50 seconds left on that jam clock. Loray Evans also heading to the penalty box for Team England, meaning that there's less players to try and um, get past. And Master Blaster does break through. And Lexi Lightspeed calling that jam. Just about 29 seconds left of that jam. But of course, as Brad has said, that period clock has already expired. So a 23-point final jam for Lexi Lightspeed, taking Team England to 272 points versus Team Germany's 31 points. That's unofficial at this moment. Absolutely. We will get it certified in just a moment here. But we will see continued play from, from these teams in their pool. So in this pool, the other two teams are Spain and Ireland. So tune in for those games later here on live coverage. Live coverage indeed. At rollerderbyworldcup.com slash live. Thank you for joining us so far. I'm Brad Example. I'm Snoogins. We do hope you've enjoyed this so far today, folks. Still plenty more to come. <laughs>